Hello, this is Titanosaurus Productions, and today I'm showing off my Bat Cave mock. So if you don't know what a mock is, it stands for My Own Creation, and there are some really amazing mocks out there made by Lego fans. And this isn't really that good compared to others, but I feel like the, the base of the design is really cool, and I would like to show it off. So, um, first of all, we got this this runway for the the bat cycle over here i used the version from um what's it what is it that it was like the joker's funhouse escape that lego batman set um it there it's missing some parts doesn't really look that complete but it was i also have the one from the bat cave set which looks better but i just like to keep that one separate like in a separate spot so this one is my double so i can put it there um we got lights by the runway um we got that little uh, control thing there and a ladder so we can walk up to the main computer we've got batman standing over here um the seat swivels around it's got the the pieces from the original bat cave set it's got this big radar dish which i guess or whatever it, sh it sort of shows like, um, where the roof is, like, where the, the ceiling level is, so, like, all the ground would come off down from here, if that makes sense. Like, if this was ground, it would continue to go down that way, if, if you understand what I'm saying. You probably don't, though. Um, anyway, we got Alfred over here. Um, this is just, like, a walkway over here, um... We got a security camera. This feature is pretty cool over here. You open, wait, let me get Alfred out of the way. You open this door up, you go inside, inside here. Um, and then you come out this side in a new suit. Like if Bruce Wayne wants to change into the bat suit, he just walks through there and it's done. You even got the bat suit over there um we got a medical kit on um, this plate this thing shows like a hologram of the world oh or, or just holograms of stuff um let me see if i can get under there um not much like um under here just some like not much behind the the walls here um We'll get to that other stuff later. Um, we have another hologram right here. And a trophy. Along with a little plant. Um, fun fact. This, this plant right here was supposed to be the original baby Groot. It came with a, a an exclusive rocket raccoon figure. Um, from Guardians of the Galaxy. Here's, you know, it came in a poly bag. A Lego poly bag. Over here is a. Like a kryptonite generator. As you know, Batman, Batman is always prepared. Over here is, uh, I guess, just a bust. Sort of a reference to the Shakespeare bust that Batman has um, in the original Batman TV series. You got just like a little trophy case over there. A wall with a bunch of different um, vehicle ideas. That was from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, sewer, cave, home, or whatever. This is also from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's a mutagen container, which I just thought would be a cool little inclusion. It would sort of show all the technological stuff that Batman has. Speaking of technological, on this side, we're, we're about to see some more stuff. So here's just, like, a table where he can meet with, with people. Like, if he needs to talk to someone, he goes and sits over there. Um... Over here, th just want to show this quickly. He's got this big chair here with a table in case he's doing things alone. He's got this, these stairs that go up to here. And if he's so lazy that he isn't going to bother to walk up the stairs, um, he goes, he walks up. Let's just use Alfred. He, he would walk up this ramp, um, stands right here, uses the control panel on the side right here. And he's all, and he is up within seconds. 
So yeah, that's that. Um, over here is the the mind erasing machine in case a villain might in, um in case a villain might intr intrude into the bat cave like Bane over there on that computer panel. Um, Batman can wipe his memory with this device. Over here is the bat lie detector. This is the lie detector, and is there a chair over there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That that little black seat, right, right down there. Am I pointing the right? Right, right there is where the per person sits. Also, there's like a weapon rack over there, and over here are just some open pipes. Um. We've got a, some silver stones, probably from space. Batman's always studying stuff, you know. Um, more controls, a seat to to work on those controls with or whatever. Um, this is, says hyperdrive. I believe that's apart from a Millennium Falcon Lego set. Um, over here are just some missiles to fire in case of an intruder. Um, now we can turn this around. Um, as you can see, there is, you get a better view of the area here, from this side, um, we've got this little statue here with bricks stacked up in a different way, um, um, this side, I feel like this side over here is like the more lonely side, um, we got some shields over here, um, just a tree for decoration, um, and over here is the final part. With um, this engine and then this sort of elevator shaft I wanted it to resemble. Um, and yeah, that's it for my Batcave mock. Tell me what you think in the comments below and say if you want to see any more mocks. I haven't done a video showcasing mocks in a while. And I wanted to show off this one because I thought it was really cool. Anyway, that's all for now. Goodbye.